Hey guys. Alright, thought I'd do a short little video on my one of my um, creatures out of my tank, and this is my Scarlet Skunk Cleaner Shrimp. And uh, his name is Voodoo. Yes, I. it's kind of embarrassing, but yes, I do name my fish. I'm sorry, but I do. I, that's just <laughs> something weird. I just always, I always name my fish. But anyway, let's get to the shrimp. Um, Alright, let's start off with how th th his difficulty, how to take care, of, like, how hard it is to take care of him. He is a very, very, very easy shrimp to take care of. I've never had any problems with him, and I know I'm going to get some comments about this, but no, I do not add additives to my tank. I do not add iodine and or anything like that. No additives. This is completely, all this is RO, um, RO salt water. And, but he's been in my tank for, I guess, I would say probably almost a year. And he's molts uh, probably once a month, maybe twice a month sometimes. And he's just great. He, he brings a lot of color to the tank and a lot of personality. He doesn't, a lot of people will complain about these this species of shrimp hiding all the time. Well, mine never hides, especially not at this time. And it's uh, probably nine o'clock or ten o'clock right now. And he's so this is usually when he's out. But um, he's great though. Easy to take care of. Eats everything. Uh, just it really is so easy to take care of. But I have heard of people talking about this shrimp. Um, how they would get him, and then he would only last uh, a couple days, a couple weeks, a couple months. And um, so I was kind of questioning myself. This is I read that I read about that, but right after I got him, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, um, I hope he doesn't die and all that. Well, he didn't, obviously. And um, maybe, and I have a clue why that might be. Maybe because uh, obviously there's there's a low bio load on my tank. First of all. And um, I'm not sure. Good filtration system, and I feed him a varied diet and all that. But also, how I acclimated to him to my tank. Um, I did the drip method. If anyone, if anyone watching this, don't, do, if any of you watching this don't know what that is, um, it's where you get your fish, or invert, or coral, or anything like that, and um, you put them in like maybe an empty aquarium, a bucket, something like that. Maybe just a bag if you have a balance, right? And you'll get a piece of some airline tubing, and um, yeah, you guys, all right, you got you got an idea what that looks like. Just some r a rubber tube, basically, that will um, you suck on it, and it creates a suction, and it'll drip the water out of your tank into the bucket or tank or whatever into the water where your new animal is, and then uh, that should you should keep that running the water from the tank dripping into the bucket for an hour maybe longer an hour he was probably dripping for an hour and a half and but before you do that you have to of course most people know this you have to float them in their bag um, on this so they're just floating in the tank and that that takes care of the temperature and I do that probably 45 minutes to an hour just to make sure just to be sure because my tank tends to be on the warm side so I don't I just don't want to shock anything that goes into my tank. All right, now let's get on to food. Food is not a problem with him at all. He eats everything. I feed the, my tank uh, Marine Flakes. Um, the brand is Tetracolor Marine Flakes. I feed them that. I feed them Marine S by Hickory. They eat that. Um, all the Instant Ocean Marine uh, Gel foods like Marine Blend, Brine Shrimp. Uh, seaweed blend, all that stuff. He eats all of it. Oh, also I feed them um, for my lawnmower blending right there. His favorite and the shrimp's favorite, it seems like, are the uh, sinking discs. I don't know what you what you should call them, but the little algae discs that sink to the bottom. He, li he likes that too. So anything really. If you want the shrimp, d food is not a problem. Um, yeah. So yeah, just food fine. And now temperament. Temperament's definitely an issue with this guy. I don't know why. I, I Don't quote me on this because I know a lot of people don't have an issue with this type of shrimp. A lot of people say it's the most peaceful shrimp you can get. There goes my goby. And um, I'm not sure why he's going crazy. Stirring up a lot of sand. But um, 
Okay, but anyway, um, temperament, he, they're supposed to be very, very peaceful, but I've found that he's really, he really isn't. He, I have a, um, in there, oh, he's hiding now, but, um, I have three other type, uh, species of shrimps in this tank. I have a bumblebee shrimp, a, um, camel shrimp, and a peppermint shrimp. And, um, he, really, he goes after all of them, but especially the one he hates the most. I mean, he hates this guy, and that's the, um, camel shrimp. Um, he always is just constantly stalking him and pouncing on him and just chasing him around the tra tank. He just is really aggressive with that particular shrimp. And, um, so that can be a problem sometimes. I used to think, when I first got my camel shrimp, um, I used to, th I would think, oh god, my shrimp is gonna get killed by this shrimp. But, um, no. He, he hasn't killed him and he hasn't injured him, really. He just kind of panics him all the time. He's always chasing him around if he can catch him. But, uh, most of the time he minds his own business. But, just to forlorn you, just to, uh, let you know, that could be a problem in the future if you have other species of shrimps. Maybe it's the size of my tank, though. If you have a larger tank, I wouldn't worry about it so much. Um, alright. And, uh, size, they get about two inches, and he's about that. He's actually a really large uh, shrimp, and um, so yeah, he definitely, oh, this is the main reason people buy him, uh, besides the color and everything, uh, the cleaning services they provide for the fish. He cleans all, he tries to clean my fish, I'm sorry. He, he'll he sit there and wave his little, um, oh, never mind, I'm not going to do it, but he'll, yeah, he'll uh, wave around and try to get attention from the fish, and they usually ignore him, they're smaller than him, so they don't really, they're kind of scared of him almost, and, uh, but this guy is bigger than him, my lawnmower blunny, and so he'll just, he'll let him clean him all the time, and so that's really nice, because uh, I know that he's getting all the parasites off him and all that from him, and he desperately wants to clean the fish, so yeah, that works out. All right. So yep, that's my video on the Scarlet Sun Cleaner Shrimp. I really encourage you to get one, maybe even two, if you get them at the same time, because they're just great. They really are. Um, highly encourage you to buy one. Thanks.